to present the award for global citizenship. Please welcome Muhammad Ali humanitarian awardee and philanthropist, Jason Flom. I'm super thrilled to be here to honor my great friend and one of my personal heroes, Mal Rogers. <clears throat> you all just heard the announcement that at the ripe young age of 72, he just got nominated for three, not just three Grammy Awards, but three of the biggest Grammy Awards. And it made me think, it's almost exactly 46 years to the day that Niall got nominated for his first Grammy Award for a little song you might remember called We Are Family. And I am super excited and humbled to say that, speaking of We Are Family, I have my own announcement to make, which is that unless a little Ali grandchild was born in the last few minutes that we haven't heard about, I'm the newest member of the family because I married Kalia Ali, or she married me, just a few weeks ago in New York. And she is my heart and soul, and I'm just absolutely thrilled. And Lonnie, thank you for welcoming me into the family. A quick story, um, going back to the beginning of my career in the music business, um, I've been in the music business for 45 years, I've been in criminal justice reform for almost as long, and when I started <clears throat> at Atlantic Records when I was 18 years old, right after I failed at becoming a rock star, I wanted to be Nile Rogers, so I'm really happy to be able to introduce him, but um, they, gave me a staple gun and some double-sided tape and a bunch of posters to run around to record stores and put these posters up in the record stores. And I was thrilled to have two of my favorite artists, Led Zeppelin and Rolling Stones. But they gave me the two hottest new acts, Chic and Sister Sledge, to go out and put up these posters in these stores. And this was a new sound that was sweeping the nation and sweeping the business. And I was like, who the hell is the genius behind these, this music, this new music? And it was Nile Rodgers. And I'm not proud of this, and I'm going to make a... I mean, keep this between us, because like I said, this is not probably not my, my finest hour, but now I'll have to confess that one of the jobs that they gave me to do at that time was to forge Sister Sledge's autographs on <laughs> posters and records that they sold for all kinds of profits, and you probably never saw any of that money. So <laughs> I can probably still do a pretty good forgery if you ever need me to, but <laughs> like I said, I'm not proud. I hope the statute of limitations has expired on that. So. Um, I'm so grateful, again, to be back here with Lonnie and all of you celebrating another change maker. And, and what an awardee he is. The Global Citizenship Award tonight is to and for my dear friend, the global music icon that we know and love, Nile Rogers. And aside from his legacy, you know, it, it occurs to me that he and the great Muhammad Ali, the greatest, I mean, he, Nile's the greatest in his chosen field, a different kind of goat. But he also reminds me, you know, as a child, as a kid growing up in the business and looking up to him as I did, it, it occurred to me that Muhammad Ali was looked up to by everyone, but no one ever, but he never looked down on anyone. And Nile Rogers is exactly that guy. He always has a smile, he always has time for anyone who comes and tries to get his attention. And I was that kid, and so I appreciate that. It's, it's very personal to me. So Nile has written and produced and performed on records that have sold over 500 million albums worldwide. That's 500 million albums. And, <laughs> and approximately a bazillion singles. Um, on top of that, uh, probably all of you have some in your collections. Chic, Sister Sledge, David Bowie, Beyonce, Madonna, Lady Gaga, Mick Jagger, Pharrell, Daft Punk, I'm exhausted. The list goes on and on and on. But beyond his incredible music career, and that's really what we're here to talk about, Niall is an advocate for people, all the people. And he's a genuinely just good and decent and great human being. He created the We Are Family Foundation, which since 2008 has dedicated his, he's dedicated his heart and soul to it. And what it does and what he does with Nancy and the team is 
create programs that promote cultural diversity while nurturing and mentoring the vision, talents, and ideas of young people who are positively changing the world. What could be better than that, right? That's what we need now more than ever. So between 2004 and 2010, the We Are Family Foundation funded 17 schools across Mali, Malawi, Nicaragua, and Nepal, providing an education to over 3,700 students. And even though his impact is far-reaching, in person, he's just a thoughtful, kind, and pretty normal guy, believe it or not, and, and just generous to everyone he meets. And it seems like, like Muhammad Ali, everyone I meet has a story about the time that Niall has impacted their lives. So I am now deeply proud, humbled, and honored to present the Global Citizenship Award to my friend, the musical goat, Niall Rogers. Wow. Uh, before I even get into my speech, I just want to say that since I've been here uh, the last 24 hours or so, you people have been the most, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to say it, the most wonderful, kind, gen generous, um, elegant, intelligent crowd that I've hung out with over the last couple of weeks. <laughs> even, even though three days ago I was with King Charles, but no, no diss in the king, but you guys are awesome. Um, but anyway, um, I just want to say Muhammad Ali was one of the world's greatest activists. His life was a historic uh, was a, oh, sorry, I'm still sleepy, was a heroic story of sacrifice, idealism, and giving back. I wish I'd known him, but I'm a better person as a result of his existence. It was one of the most meaningful honors to be this year's recipient of the Muhammad Ali Global Citizenship Award. Music is our universal language, and it's also my life. It gives me the strength to sacrifice, idealize, and give back as much as Muhammad Ali did. We at the We Are Family Foundation believe that young people who have ideals and ideas are molding a better future for us all. Through our programs, Three Dot Dash, Youth to the Front Fund, and Youth to the Table, they are effectively tackling the most existential challenges we face today. Systemic racism, inequity, and injustice, as well as climate change and AI. In fact, a We Are Family Foundation delegation is en route today to take their seats at the table at COP29 in Azerbaijan. We believe in youth leading the way. Thank you, my brother. <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie, where you at? You are awesome. I'm telling you, I feel like I'm at home. I really do. You've been so wonderful, all of you. The, the Muhammad Ali Center for continuing the work and vision of the greatest of all time. Thank you, my fellow honorees, Shaquille O'Neal. I told him earlier, as he was getting on the elevator, that we actually shared a project together. Um, we did a film called Blue Chips, and we worked with a director who, you know, is Academy, an Academy Award director, but somehow on this movie, he lost his way. <laughs> I, 
I, I, said, I said to Shaquille, I said, I said, we somehow both survived him. <laughs> Be, because it was, I, I don't mean to go off the rails here, but I just got to tell you, I never thought I'd get a chance to say this. I'm not a filmmaker. I'm a musician. Um, we're working on this film, and he has the basketball players playing real games. And I'm like going, uh, dude, I know better than that. Like, they're going to get exhausted. They're going to you know, set up the shots, blah, 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 this and that, so and so. So Shaq brought it to be a wonderful honor to see you in person and know that we both survived Billy Friedkin. <laughs> uh, Anyway, I didn't want to go there, but I just couldn't help it. <laughs> Every day we'd show the dailies to the audience and they'd go, oh my God, the music is great. It's fantastic. It's one of the best scores I've ever heard. The next day he'd say to me, that is the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> I'm like, okay, thanks, Mr. Freakin. Um, but anyway, um, sorry, sorry to go off the rails. <laughs> But I, I'll never get that chance again. I don't know if I'll ever see Shaq again, but I just had to say that. I could imagine if that's what he was doing to me, what the hell was he doing to you? Because <laughs> you were the star. I'm just the guy back there. He was probably saying, uh, Shaq. Uh, and Shaq is probably thinking, man, just give me the ball. Let me, let me do what I do. I'll make the movie right. But anyway... I also just want to thank my fellow honorees, Brian Stevenson, Don G, the incredible young change makers, Deja Fox, Charlotte Magayi, Shah Chadri, Mohammed Yasir, Sophia Kiani, Liana Genovese, or maybe she says it the New York way, Genovese, and Richie Aricha Gupta. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> you are all the best of, of humanity. And I say from the bottom of my heart, we are family. Thank you all so much.